Norman Dalton Cash was a player for the Detroit Tigers. I don't generally see Cash ever listed as a top 10 Tiger of all time, but he does rank in the top 10 in Tigers history in multiple categories. And he was a very key contributor to the Tigers winning a World Series in 1968 and coming back from a 3-1 to one series deficit. In this video, I'm going to talk about Cash's ranks in Tigers history, some of his accolades, I'll be talking about some notable seasons and games that he had and I'll be talking about his contributions to the 1968 World Series Championship and his contributions to coming back from a 3 to 1 series deficit. Norm Cash played in the major leagues for 17 years and in 15 of those years he played with the Tigers. Please keep in mind that everything on here is what he did with the Tigers. All of those rankings are in terms of where he ranks in terms of Tigers statistics. Cash's 7,776 plate appearances are 9th. His 6,593 at-bats are 9th. His 1,793 hits are 10th. His 1,027 runs are 9th. His 3,233 total bases are 9th. His 373 home runs are second. His 1,088 RBI are eighth. During Cash's 15 years with the Tigers, he had a 272 batting average, a 374 on base percentage, a 490 slugging percentage, and an 865 OPS. Cash was a five time All Star with the Tigers, a one time World Series champion, and he had one batting title in his career, and that was in 1961. Now in terms of some notable seasons and games for Cash, some notable single season rankings that Cash holds all came in the 1961 season, which was his batting title season. His 41 home runs in 1961 are top 9 for a single season in Tigers history. His 662 slugging percentage in 1961 is 4th in Tigers history. His 487 on base percentage in 1961 is 1st in Tigers history. And his 1.148 OPS in 1961 is also 1st in Tigers history. Norm Cash actually holds the Tigers record for most 20 or more home run seasons with 11. His 530 or more home run seasons are top four in Tigers history. His five seasons with a 500 or better slugging percentage are top nine. His seven seasons with a 370 or better on base percentage are top 12 in Tigers history. His six seasons with an 850 or better OPS are seventh in Tigers history. And his three seasons with a 900 or better OPS are top 10 in Tigers history. Cash had 480 different games where he had one or more hits, one or more RBI, and one or more runs. That is sixth in Tigers history. His 348 games with one or more home runs are second. His 25 games with two or more home runs are fifth. His 97 games with three or more RBI are eighth. His 29 games with eight or more total bases are sixth. And his 60 games with a 100% batting average are seventh in the history of the Detroit Tigers. Cash was a key contributor to the Tigers coming back from a 3-1 series deficit in 1968 against the Cardinals. In terms of his production for the entire seven games, Cash's 10 hits were second on the Tigers. He was one of five Tigers with a home run. His five RBI were third on the Tigers. His five runs were top four on the Tigers. Now with the batting average and on base percentage, I took out players that only had one or two plate appearances or at bats. So he wasn't technically first, but with those qualifiers, I'm adding he was. Cash's 385 batting average was first on the Tigers and his 433 on base percentage was second. Now the Tigers got down 3 to 1 in this series like I already mentioned and in games 5, 6 and 7, Cash had a 600 batting average, 6 hits, 4 RBI and 3 runs. So Cash was clearly a key contributor to turning that series around and helping the Tigers bring home the title. Well, that will be all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.